While in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Smash went behind the scenes for glimpses of what it takes to run one of the OSM BWF Super Series events. We caught up with the man whose job is to manage the day-to-day -day operations of the Badminton World Federation. It's a huge operation, to be honest, uh, and it takes lots of preparation, many, many months, years of preparation. Obviously, when we come to a tournament like here in Malaysia, I mean, they've taken months and months to prepare, but they have years and years of experience to, to prepare these things. And there's obviously a lot of technical things, but obviously a lot of promotional things, marketing setups that needs to be in place, and, and not least, getting the fans into the stadium. I mean, that's probably the most important thing to to, I mean, it's no fun to, to play here if there's no fans, uh, and the fans want to really come to watch the big stars. They become better if the fans are here. So it's kind of a, you know, a collaboration between the fans and the players, and that just makes it a big event and a great event. Malaysia will step up to become a Premier Super Series event in 2014, and work has already begun to underline its Premier status. Premier events, the best players have to participate. So obviously, we it will ensure that all the big stars, all the top 10 players will be here and, and compete for the glory, which is important because, as I said, I mean, the, the stars, they are the, the key of the show. I mean, they are the stars of the event. Uh, but there's also, I mean, frankly, more obligations on the player's side. I mean, there's, there's more media, there's more things we expect from them. I mean, unfortunately, it is like, you know, the, the money will just not come in on its own. The biggest prize money tournament we have this year is $1 million, uh, which is, is, is huge for, for, for our sport. Uh, and obviously that's something the players appreciate. But it's also hard work for the players, and as in any other tournament, they play their, their games, but when they go and get out, I think many people really don't realize that they have to go out, they have to speak to the media, have to go to press conferences, they have to go to promotion activities and all of that. And yes, it's hard work, but it's, that's what it takes actually for sport to grow and for the players to become those stars that they actually also want to be themselves. But sometimes I'm sure they'll say, oh God, when they're back in their beds, well, it's been a long day. Yes. I appreciate that, but I mean, it, that's just what it takes. And, and they're doing, most of them are doing a really good job. With so much happening from week to week, things can and do get a little crazy, but that's just part of the job. When you lose, it's not that funny to get interviewed, but when you win, it's it's a bit funny. But, you know, it's a part of the job, and um, I think you have to use the media well. Um, also, as I said before, to promote the sport and, you know, keep a, keep a friendly uh, present when you're, when you're getting interviewed. Um, so I'm trying to do that the best I can. You know, we want to be in the media because, you know, all uh, sports persons want to be famous. Uh, you know, what they're doing is to achieve uh, success and, you know, to be famous. We always like to, to tell our point of view from the match and, and what we're doing, so it's okay. We, we like it. It's still new for me facing the media as much as we do now, so maybe in 10 years <laughs> I'm tired of it, but now I'm just enjoying it. I'm thank you to the fans. I mean, even in Indonesia, in Malaysia, also in China, so many fans, so many people love badminton. That's why when I play, how to play and then how to entertain, I mean, the, for the people in around the stadium, not only playing like, you know. It's important. Um, I think it's uh, not only important to play well, but also to be uh, media friendly. You know, people like you uh, because you play well, but you, uh, they also should know you. And media is the only way uh, people can know you. Even if you're world number one and if you don't talk to media or people out there, you know, it's, I feel it's of no use. Uh, it's not like we are the biggest uh, stars like uh, Roger Federer in tennis, uh, so, so it's not that much we are, we are talking to the media, so I, I think it's okay to, to talk to you. So players are keen to share their stories, but is badminton getting enough media attention and TV coverage? I think what's very important for a start is that we've got to start making our star players star players in their own right. Here in Malaysia, we're, we're so lucky that you've got megastars. You've got Lee Chong Wei, Ku Kian Kian, Tan Bin Kiong. They are megastars in their own right. Um, in some places, we and we in television are partly to blame for this because we talk about it's the Chinese player playing against the Thailand pair. I can see that just going on behind us. You know, we shouldn't be talking about countries. We should be talking about the individuals. We shouldn't say the Danes or the Chinese or whatever. Let's talk about the players so that we're very specific. So then the players become 
the big stars and not it's the Chinese badminton team who have won this or it's a Korean pair that have won that. And we've got to get more and more the individuals. With it, in the major sports in the world, the individual sports, it is the players. You don't happen to mention that often that Roger Federer comes from Switzerland and Nadal from Spain. It's just Federer against Nadal. Mm -hmm. And we need to get to that sort of level so that once we've got the megastars, then the media interest all over from the written media to us in television um, uh, will spread much, much more because then people will want to follow their star player rather than just the player from their country.